Hey guys, Better Man here. I've been getting a few messages about how to make some quicker money um, with stuff around your house, uh, stuff that doesn't really need any startup costs or overhead, something you can just do pretty quickly, you know, five, ten minutes as you find certain things. Um, and the easiest way I've been finding to do this with is just simply with eBay. Now I haven't really dived really deep into eBay, but I simply just been posting some stuff that I've been finding around the house and I was surprised with things that were kind of worth money to other people. So if I go to my eBay right now and I go to selling. So this is some of the stuff I have posted up right now. You know, I'm sure ev everyone has some of these items in their house. I had old bobbleheads, some old sunglasses, uh, my girlfriend's pair of shoes that I just threw up. I went through um, a motorcycle phase. So I just uh, started throwing up all that equipment because I never actually went through with it. Um, and I've actually been starting to sell some items, which I'm surprised about. Um, for instance, I had these Birkenstock shoes that I have actually never wore. Um, someone bought it for me for a gift and I never bought it back to the store. And I just simply searched it up on eBay and I found, oh, people are actually buying these because, you know, they're worth $100 in the store. But if I only wore them a couple times, I'll put them up for 35 bucks and I'll get that. And then I also include uh, shipping with that as well. Um, another big surprise I had was I had an old uh, lava lamp that I thought was pretty much worthless. I mean, it worked, but it was literally from like 2003, 2004. But I just simply searched on eBay and I found that a lot of people actually do collect these things. And I just looked at a comparable price and I saw one that was listed before, you know, for $70. So I put it uh, at $70 and um, it sold pretty recently. So the easiest way I've been finding to do this was simply download the app on my phone or when I have time go on my desktop and I would literally just search things that I have in my house right now. So right, for instance, I have a PlayStation 1 right now and I have um, one of the mini ones. Um, but if you just start going through this, you can see what people are listing it at. So if there's something that could be worthless to you, you can make you know a quick $40 off of it. Now the easiest thing I found too is, okay, it's one thing to see what people list a price at. But what you want is you want to see what people are actually selling the items for. So if you go to sold and complete listings here down at the bo bottom, you can actually see people at, and what prices they bought at. So for instance, this person had it still in the box. It was, well, this one's brand new. This was 45. Um, some selling some old games too. Like I actually have this game here, so I could just throw it up for that price. Um, Pac-Man, uh, this was out of the box, it sold for $40. So that's, that's pretty much what I've been doing. And a lot of criticism around eBay is simply the fact that you're going to start paying money um, f to ship or you're going to start paying money um, to eBay to list. I think it's like 10 or 15%. But really, if you just do the quick math, math I know that if I ship within North America, it's going to cost me 15 to $20, for instance. And I know that eBay is going to take 10%. So if I can sell something above those guidelines, and I know it's not going to be costly, too costly to ship. It's going to be under, you know, like five pounds or something like that. Just simply like create an account, go to ebay.com create an account, take a few pictures on your phone, list it, look at the sold listings, look at the active listings, put a price on it, set it and forget it. And it might not sell the next day, but you know in two months you're just going to get an alert on your phone that you sold those old pair of shoes that you never, you would have thrown out anyways. And, and then you simply follow the instructions in the eBay uh, listing and email and you can um, send it out and, and that's it and you can start building your store. Um, so for instance, like when I first started eBay, I only got uh, 10 listings that I could do. Um, so right now I'm up to 50 listings, which is pretty good. So now I might start branching out into um, once this warmer weather comes around, I can start going to garage sales, for instance. And if someone's selling you know, some old hockey cards or you know, some old uh, consoles or games or something like that. I can literally maybe pick them up for a few dollars, search them on eBay, and maybe make a quick flip. Um, but I think the best thing about the eBay strategy is that simply you can just start selling the old stuff you have that you're not going to be using anymore. Search it up for fun, see if it's worth anything, and you can start making a few bucks. So I hope this... Um, 
video helped you guys i'm it wasn't really an instructional video it was more like hey like this is what i've been doing and it's really simple the process um to start listing stuff and if you guys want me to make future videos like this or future um, ebay videos for instance then i can i can do that for you um so if you guys can drop me a like and uh hit that subscribe button that'd be appreciated and uh comment to to, to ask me or tell me what you want me to make uh make next